What's up, good people? <laughs> We're so glad you're joining us for another episode of Do It Now. I'm your host, Javen. I'm telling you, I got a lineup for you today. I'm going to ask my boy, Brandon, to introduce all these uh, incredible musicians, songwriters. Somebody on this couch sings, somebody writes hits, somebody plays guitars and all kind of other stuff. Introduce everybody. All the above. I mean, this crew, this is saying less, but they're all rowdy for the right reasons. I got uh, EVH, Eric Van Hooten to my left right here. Big Say boss, right, artist, man. singer, songwriter. Runs Nashville. Is he, is he saying it wrong? Shades Van on Houghton. all the time. Houghton. The Howdies. Who Sorry. Who, Eric Van Houghton. Houghton. Can we, we call you Hootsie? Name. We call him Hootsie. <laughs> That's true. That's I'm true. used to hearing the Hootsie. Yeah. Uh, what, what is it? Van, Van. It's Van Houghton, but my nickname is Hootsie. Got it. Yeah. We, uh, so it was a blend. At the same time, to his left is the one and only Heath Warren. And, man, he's the H-dubs that people think is related to me. God bless their souls. Because, man, if I looked half as good as this man and did half the things he's done, I, I wouldn't even be able to speak to people. Come on. Wow, so, thanks. Thanks, Love Brandon. you, Bubba. <laughs> Songwriter. <laughs> number one is just floating around everywhere right now. And then to my right, Who's I mean. Who's got number one? You're going quick, He's got bro. a number one. Come on. Well, what's the number one? Uh, it's called Rock in a Hard Place by Bailey Zimmerman. Nice. Uh, Save the best for last time because we got yeah, another guy that's got a bunch right of there. number Let's ones. Get an applause right there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Put some respect I on it. Do it. Thank I you, won't bro. do it. I'm Thank not you. clapping. Are you? Do, are you? <laughs> Heath, are you doing the introduction? Because we saved the best for <laughs> last over here. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll do it. You want to do it? Yeah, but he's so humble he won't even tell me how many number ones he has. I think he's got four or five now. Will, how many? Yes. My man, Will Weatherly, right yes. there. <laughs> Will, how many number ones you have? Four. No, what, what do you know? The, name them. I was going to say, do you know them? <laughs> <laughs> you said no. Yeah, I, I, if I know you anything remember about one of well, them? Uh, I wrote a song called Think About You. Dustin okay. Lynch, okay. With Dustin Lynch. Just okay. so happened to be the most nice. played song of 2022. Yeah, it's the most spun song at Country Radio in 2022. I need an applause for that. Come yeah. on. The, really that's the, hey, listen, the that's some thing, serious stuff. That, that's not The easy. only thing that means is he made more money than anybody else <laughs> last year. <laughs> Write me a check, Will. <laughs> I, want more. I don't see it. <laughs> Listen, all right. So, Eric, how you feeling? What's going on? I mean, if I was any better, I'd be on a yacht in Cabo. Hey. But I'm feeling great. I heard you guys are all uh, somehow connected some way. Yeah. Uh, this project called Roddyville. Yeah. Uh, what What do you think about this, this, uh, Man, this collaboration? Well, me, me and Heath had this stupid idea of trying to make a tv show in, in nashville about us being idiots and having you know writing songs and doing the crazy stuff we do the um, idiot part wasn't a part of the idea <laughs> not, not originally but it was my it was in my head the whole time yeah but um and then you know we met brandon and uh a couple of years ago and just became really close with him and started working on the movies and stuff that he directs and produces and he had yeah. the idea of doing a tv show too and we just kind of blended the things and Gave the guy that knows what he's doing the the wheel, and here we are. Yeah, we had a nice you, steak and some cigars, yeah, and the whole did, game yeah, changed. We did, yeah. Because you actually came to be a, uh, I mean, you're here as an artist mainly. Yeah, yeah. I moved here from Buffalo, New York, ten years ago. Yeah, ten years ago, and uh, just been chasing the thing down and running in place. To be honest, all right. I'm 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 going to come right back to that, but I want to know how all of you all met. Like, who met who first, or where does this start? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> I don't recall. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if me and Will were sober when we met, but we we met. No way. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> no chance. Yeah, no chance. I remember the first time I met Will Weatherly. Yeah. And he definitely doesn't remember. But that's not a knock on you. It's just because I was nobody, and I was just I knew who you were, and I was just excited to meet you. Wow. But we were at a. I think that's a true statement, actually. Yeah. True statement. I was there. We were uh, we were at Winners. I think you were there. Yeah. And. Uh, you uh you were hanging out with Ward in the back of Winners uh at a whiskey jam, and uh, Ward introduced you to me. But I I already knew who the hell you were. You're just a fan of your stuff, man. Big songwriter, I'm big a fan producer. Of you too. Come on, Thank you. Thanks. Oh, you stay so over cute. there. <laughs> full, full, full circle moment. Yeah. Well, you, you you've been doing this so long, so success, successfully. Do you do you still you still got energy for it? You still got love for it? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've literally been doing music like all day. You know what I mean? I'm gonna leave here and do it some more. <laughs> Pretty much until <laughs> yeah. I go to bed, actually. So, yeah. yeah, man, it's my favorite thing to do. It's just I feel like the lines get blurred because it starts out as a hobby. Yeah, and then I think you know the goal is you maintain your joy of it. 
Yeah, you know uh-huh. what I mean, so you don't ever Great get tired it. of it. I mean, it definitely yeah, you gets on up- you to be a job at a certain point. But yeah. I have a blast. I love it. You bring up a very good point, and that and that would uh, lead me to ask a question. How do you keep at, after? Because the grind is so, and I don't think people understand this level of success. It's a it's a serious grind. Uh, and because that grind is there, the 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 bills and the responsibility, the financial responsibility. So you got to hustle. The hustle has to be there. So when all of that is in place, how do you keep the joy of what you do? It's for anybody. A business manager, so I don't see bills and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. touch it. That's the that's the politically I don't correct have to answer. Do <laughs> the clerical yeah. work. I focus on creating, and that's it. Stay yeah. in the creative yeah. side. And I think as yeah. far as the creative side too, like. I mean, from an artist standpoint, for me, you know, I just played a show in Indiana last night and got to play 30 minutes of my own music in front of people that have never seen me play wow. before. And to have people come up to you after and be like, man, that song hit me this way or that way or yeah. whatever. That's why we do it. We, yeah. we, you know, we're telling our story, but we're not alone in the storytelling. You know what I mean? We're, yeah. we're speaking for other people unintentionally. And then we get to go out there and do it and play those songs. And then people are receptive to it. And that's what. It's good. At least for me, that's what makes me keep coming back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I speak for all of us probably on that. To bridge both of those things together, I would say financially, all of us are so used to being broke (laughs) that uh, (laughs) That doesn't scare you. We're not doing it. Like, it does start as a hobby, but like the goal is always to figure out how, how am I supposed to do this for the rest of my life? as my job and when i talk about like meeting will that's kind of like you know we all move to town and then you you have your eye on the guys that were here just ahead of you and then you have your eye on the guys that are like the kings right Mm -hmm. and i think at the time because i've been here seven years will was one of those guys that was like he was ahead of me had just celebrated i think your first number one or something like that and um you know from my perspective back then, it's like, how do I do what he's doing? Mm. And um, how do I do it in my own way? You know, mm. so I maintain who I am, find my people, surround myself with them and figure out, because obviously it can be done, yeah. right? So yeah, I like that. Uh, in a town full of the most talented people in the world, how do you separate yourself and how do you get, get to where that person is? And then to the next. And then as far as like financially, I think when you come from nothing, when you start to have a little bit of something, um, the one thing that stays constant is the dream and the goal. Mm. And I don't think when you're a dreamer, I don't think we ever have like a peak. Uh, yeah, a ceiling. I think, a ceiling I think you have like this list of goals and it's like, oh man, if I could just get a, a song on somebody's record, if I could get a cut, that would make me feel good. <laughs> then yeah. the, uh, then after you get a couple of those and it's like damn if i could just get a uh on a on a spotify playlist that would that yeah. would fulfill me and then that happens and it's like well how do i get a song on the radio and then you get a song on the radio and then you're like seeing everybody post like oh i got a number one or oh man our song just went top 20 and you're like how the hell do you go top 20 at country <laughs> radio and it's not up to us right it's up to everybody else mm-hmm. and and so many other people and then it's like well, how do you get a number one song? And then you got guys in town that have a bunch of them, or even Will has got four of them, and and you're like, well, damn, getting one was so hard. How do you get four? And it's really just, it's one at a time, but the constant there isn't about the money. It's about the dream, and I think it's about the passion. I think it's about the love and, like, being grateful for being able to show up every day and do something that you were born to do and understanding what that is instead of, working for somebody else and some job that you hate, like taking a chance on yourself is like, yeah. that's what we're doing every day. Yo, we could end a podcast with just that answer yeah. alone. Yeah, man. You, just, you just, you just killed just it. Say, I told you all, Heath knows how I, to talk. Yeah, I'll talk. I'm sorry. I know how to no, talk. No, no, I could have used a hundred less words, but. No, that was great. Truth. Are you kidding me? Well uh, Will, I, they say, you know, <clears throat> na- I know, I was going to say, they say, I know for a fact, Nashville is a hard town to crack getting in it's a it's a close-knit family type town go back uh to your beginning days like what 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 was that like finally breaking into the success part of nashville on the music side i mean it all i feel like when you start working with certain artists you know 
um, a lot of them are songs you've written a year or two before anything ever happens with them. So in my brain, those songs are kind of old to mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. So when they finally start happening and then they happen in close succession, you know what I mean? They, uh, I don't know. It, it's like fulfilling. Cause you feel like this work that you've kind of been like, Oh, I wrote another song today and I love it, but I want everyone else to be singing it. You know what I mean? Right. And so I feel like a lot of that, a lot of that stuff, your gratification and hopefully what you were looking toward comes so long so after delayed. you created it. Wow, yeah. bro. You I'm already kind like, of we, like moved I mean, on. I'm about a hundred songs deep by yeah. the time. This I was just going to say, radio. you know, between the three of us, we're all whether, I mean, if we're in the same room, great. We write the same song in the same day, but all three of us are working every single day, writing songs. You know what I mean? So like, I mean, Will's, I, Will's in a room, Heath's in a room. I'm in a room with two, three other people each. And we're writing these songs. And it's like, we do that every day, Monday wow. through Friday, sometimes Saturday. Hell, some, we got a, a song that we wrote on a Sunday got cut before. Like, it's just, wow. it, it's just co constantly creating. And like Will's saying, like you write something today and it doesn't get cut or heard by an artist until 2025. And you're like, wow. Jay, you oh, see why I related to these guys so much. Yeah. I mean, seriously, yeah. like I had to wait how, um, how much longer for another movie to come out and you, you've lived it already. You're already working on yeah, other things. And then yeah. you're going to a movie premiere going, I've seen this a hundred thousand times. It's the same thing for these <laughs> yeah, cats. I get them, you know. Song yeah, yeah times. The, the, exactly. The yeah. the worlds definitely are are connected for sure, from TV, film, and and music, any and not to mention, aspect. yeah, just yeah. any creative thing. And and you know, you you put our songs in the movie, and it's like we wrote that months and months and months before the movie even was shot. And it's like, it's just a it's it's that process of. Uh, you know, it, it everything takes time, takes obviously. Time. But, but it, it, with that being said, it's like that. This wild. process is just Hold like on. it's it's wild. It's yeah. it's I. You have uh, to be in it for the long game. Well, and I think you have to accept and and love the process for what yeah, it is. Exactly. Not one song. Yo, you gotta say that one more time. You gotta love what. You gotta love the process for what you it gotta is. Gotta love the process for what it is. Yeah, and and I think for us, like, there isn't just a blueprint of like yeah. how to do what we do and yeah. why one is more successful than the other. Yeah. So that is why we show up every day because yeah. we have to just yeah. to have a, a shot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. There's no structure to it at all. You know I think, I, mean? I, I think people would be, uh, be shocked to realize the fact of what you just said in the sense that y'all are writing every day, every day, like not Sometimes just Sometimes two or three times a day. Yeah. Like he was in three rights on Wednesday. Wow. Yeah, we wrote three, three on songs Wednesday. on Wednesday. Wow. We actually just wrote on I, that. Yeah, I started I started with Will Wednesday morning and did another session, then another session. Yeah. Sick invite to that one. So let me ask you something, because <laughs> I know you said you were in the studio this morning with the singer. Uh, explain to people what that what that is, because that's not a real recording. That's just to do what? to Just creating the demo, the demo tape. Yeah. Or just something to, um, if it's an artist, it could potentially be the thing that you hear when it comes out mm -hmm. or it's just a demo singer like the songwriter and then an artist will hear that and then put their vocals on i got i got a, i got a funny question to ask you what happens when the demo singer sings better than the artist happens all the time uh, yeah. usually, usually the demo singer <laughs> the answer is uh, uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes yep <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, the label calls the demo singer and says, we'd like to get you a deal. <laughs> there there yeah. are some people that I think got a deal like that, right? Yeah, a few a of, couple yeah. of them. Hey folks, Javen here. If you've been stuck, if you've been procrastinating, if you've been feeling like you don't know where your next season, your next breakthrough is going to come from, I want to challenge you right now. I got the answer for you. Do it now. Why wait when your best is now? My best selling book. I want you to pick it up today. It's going to help you get unstuck and get going with this season of your life because there's so many extraordinary things that are supposed to be taking place right now in your life, but sometimes we just need a little booster. At the end of every chapter, there's a workshop assignment that's gonna help you begin to plan your day, plan your week, plan your year. This is your season of now, this is your season of yes, and it's time for you to do it now. Pick it up today. No matter where you are in life, do it now is a must read. Get your copy of Do It Now and get some great nuggets of wisdom by award-winning recording artist, TV host, actor, producer, and author, Javen. Available anywhere books are sold. Why wait for better when your best is now? So, so that brings me to the next uh, question in the sense that 
Uh, I know you're used to being up front. You're the talent. Yeah. Uh, well, but I mean, I'm just the dude that plays the talent. We're all. I mean, we're all the talent in the room. But but I mean, you're you're the uh, front man. Front man. We call it talent in L.A. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you guys are used to being behind the scenes. Roddyville is going to put you uh, in front uh, of the scenes. What 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 do you think about that? Are you okay with, with being seen? <laughs> no, Brandon. I've yep. I've I've told I've told you Brandon. Uh, hold on. I, 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 I've told Brandon Clark, and this is now officially on the record. I've told Brandon Clark I am not interested in any of this shit. I didn't <laughs> even know I was coming meeting. to do a podcast. We got today. a duly noted, but here's the thing: when he says that, and then he shows up. Who talks the most? I was just gonna say he, when the mic gets on the boy. That's, that's, well, Heath's, this, hey, that's Heath's way of being this humbly, isn't humbly, humbly. This isn't for you. Humbly excited. This isn't for you. We rolled the it's first not day. For any of us, and it went. It's for them. Man, exactly. That's why I'm care here. about your audience. Well, baby. the whole it's show for is for them, and he, you know Heath's gonna walk in the door with his pearly, oh, yeah. pearls on, and he's gonna. Who's do, the first do, one, one of us to thing. ever get a a fur coat? Oh, I see him busting up in there. I will never buy a fur coat. Hey, you won't buy it. Day but one, day one of shooting, Jay. Day one of shooting, for real though. Right out of the gate, I come in and say hi to Heath in the green room, and bam, he just takes over. But he, for all the right reasons, yeah, all the right sure. reasons. But he says this man and go, man, he loves it. Nuggets, exactly. I'm telling you right now, he fired tonight. Uh, Heath, everything is, that was on my rider wasn't in the green room. So, oh <laughs> and I'm the artist, oh, and I'm the artist, <laughs> and I'm the no, artist. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I'm the artist. All right. All right, so we got some heavy hitters here that write songs, y'all. You talking hits after hits after hits. So, so we uh, what is that? So the legend Donnie Goodman, aka Driver slash WWE legend. Donnie, thanks for dropping the bags off. Love you, Bubba. People's hey, chip. actually, real real story. W- you want to know how WWE SmackDown. Presents. Donnie calls. Yeah. Donnie has a rule of Brent. You know, if Donnie calls, I answer. And I'm I'm in. I don't know where. I'm still in Nashville. <laughs> so yeah. Long story short, because I this know is Brandon. How met. Long yeah, story short, that's how I met. Yeah. I already knew me and Donnie. Me and Donnie go way back to the COVID days when me and a couple buddies that will be unnamed well, me, had to get me, the hell out of the house. Unnamed. Heath was also a part of that crew, <laughs> but we had to get out of the house. We just couldn't do it anymore. We call an Uber, one Uber, Uber black because there was ten of us and everybody's trying to roll in style. The whole thing, whatever. Yeah. Donnie Donald picks Peter. us up. Donnie becomes an absolute legend with us. We're all having a great Donnie time. Donnie signs a non-disclosure agreement he, right, yep, right he away. The NDA. <laughs> he made us sign the NDA, which is wild. Right. You're in uh, Donnie's car. But long story short, we're going out. We're, you know, we're calling Donnie to pick us up, pick us up. Fast forward a whole calendar year later, I'm heading to a, a uh, um, that engagement party or whatever. Look at Donnie know it too. And uh, yeah, he remembers. I was heading to, to celebrate my buddy getting engaged. And um, Donnie doesn't forget anything. I'm hence leaving. the non-disclosure agreement. It's the non-disclosure. <laughs> so long story short, Still Donnie it. picks me up. It was a random Uber call too. I didn't even call him wow. like personally. I was just trying to get home, call the Uber, go home. Yes, I called an Uber Black. Kill me, whatever. Uh-oh. So Donnie picks me up. I'm like, Donnie, I haven't seen you in a year. Hell yeah, I love you, man. Like, good to see you, da-da, whatever. Very next night, same bit. I'm out having, you know, doing what I do, having fun, hanging out with this guy. Call an Uber home from the old tin roof. No to that place. Okay. Here and we go. Uh, <laughs> Donnie picks me up again on a random Uber call again. That's two nights God in a row. Right there. There's the big man upstairs Say less, with a Sunday Preds game the next day. Donnie goes, man, we're pulling up to my house. He's like, I got to get you in touch with this guy, Brandon Clark. You got to meet him. You got to talk to him. He's in TV film. I've been picking him up. I've been hanging out with him. That's how God works. And he goes, I'm going to call him right now. I bet you he answers. Sure enough, Donnie calls him. He's at he's at Luke Bryan. First of all, he knows I have bottles, a rule. Donnie getting calls Getting bottles for a bunch of girls that he doesn't oh know. Oh, my and all gosh. Stuff not even that green. <laughs> and so Brandon's. Everybody's sniping yeah, each other. Yeah. That's, so, hey, and this is when we bring in Brandon's dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Donnie. So, so Donnie yeah. calls him. He answers. And you just hear Luke's in the background, you know, some dude's playing wagon wheel or some shit. And he goes, Donnie, everything all right? He goes, yeah, Brandon, I just got, I'm, I'm going to have you meet this kid, Eric. And I'm like, hey, man, not sure how we're going to have this conversation over the phone because you're clearly at the club. You're, you're clearly doing your thing. Don't do it, don't do it. And By I the go, way, I learned that Listen, club I got t- I, I, go, I got tickets to the Preds game tomorrow. <laughs> Come with me. Like, let's meet. We'll meet at the game. And we'll watch some hockey. He goes, oh, yeah, I love hockey. I used to play. I'm like, sure you did. You're from California, whatever. <laughs> and so, like, we we have the whole conversation. Next thing you know, we, next day we go to the game and wow. – 
that was it. That's how I met Brandon. Then I that's I, I was came at to the game. game. He was at the, the game, game, and then, then that's why we're sitting here. I knew Will, and then when we were writing for Just Jake, yeah. I introduced these cats at, at, together, and then well, I guess you had met Will. My bad. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And, what are and you we saying? All, like, we already we, knew. We all kind of ran around. Yeah, yeah. We hung around, but it was an official like, let's but, hang together, let's do this together, let's rock it out together. I will say like your your movie and and. Uh, what you were working on brought all of us together for real yeah. for yeah. the first time on like the, the wow let's the work creative on side, this yeah. and get creative together so actually Donnie did it clap your hands for Donnie hey. 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 all right actually funny story Brandon see you Donnie we love you Don funny story about Donnie we went to this Halloween party all right guys take care love you Don and uh Don used to be a, a WWF wrestler. Shut up. And he had us his whole suit in the back of his truck. <laughs> I love and we it. go to this Halloween party. I love it. I and this love guy, it. this guy's setting us up to go to this big Halloween party. It's back when it was and Brandon yeah. goes, Oh man, yeah, I'm just he wear, he's wearing a white cloth freaking costume. And I'm like, man, we're not we're all decked out to the nines, like dressed up, ready to go. <laughs> Bro, I forgot. And he's, about this. he's wearing he's wearing this white cloth thing that he bought at Party City. He bought it at Party so, City twenty it. minutes. The girls before. went and one up for me, and I'm like, thank you, that was kind. Oh, the girls. You notice how he says the girls. Yeah, yeah notice that. Just put that on record. Stop it, stop it. Yeah. Anybody next thing you know, to take we're with our buddy, we're with our buddy James. And James rips the thing off and he puts on Donnie's old WWF costume and he walks into the party with the belt and everything. Oh, Dude, I look legit too. Oh, when we I got, we got like, photos. Dang. We got photos, Jay. Don't you worry. They'll come <laughs> out. They'll come out when they need <laughs> when to. When they need to. <laughs> they'll come out when they need to. Yeah, I heard you holding some other footage oh, of I got, uh, uh, this oh, Will, of back, Will back here. Yep. Will be this is Will Parks, by the way. He's, yeah, we uh, sign an NDA. He's on TikTok that, famous. Will, I was gonna uh, say, <laughs> <laughs> he's TikTok famous for his, for doing this in the mirror. No, I'm not. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> That's what Will does. So for any of y'all that need to know, what is, what, hey, wait, do that again. What is TikTok Will do? famous? I said. What, what is Will like this? Will do? Like this in the mirror. Is that on. your move? That's your signature. Just, signature he can't move. do that, right? He's from Buffalo. He ain't country. Well, do it. Show him. <laughs> no, do it. Will, you're on the spot. Show him. You can. Uh, hey, Will, you can, Will, I need to see a demo. Like, like, yeah, put you the next show. Uh, show him, Will. Will, let, let's see a move. TikTok. Maybe I can have you replace uh, Marvin. Come on. Do it. Will, Will. Are, you, are you gonna do let's it? See it. Yeah, do it, Will. Yeah, do it. Do it. Will. get up here. Let's see something. So Will puts on these terrible clothes and then he goes and does this. But he gets all the girls with it. I'll give it to him. What you got? What's that move, Will? Do the move, Will. One step at a time. Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 it's so like bad. Little, uh, it's a fact <laughs> yeah. that this young man right here has stolen women from me oh just by God. doing that. This podcast yeah. is taking a whole nother <laughs> yeah. turn. It's been a few let me, years, let me, but let me turn the shit back. Let me turn this shit back. Let's bring the 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 shit back. Let's bring it back to someone else's attention. Let's bring it back higher. I seriously want you guys to break down. And I know this is elementary and frustrating and aggravating, no. but I promise you there's some kids somewhere in middle America wanting to figure this out. Yeah. How do you write, let's go basic first. How do you write a song? Let's 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 we'll we'll hit a hit later, but let's let's just talk about writing a song. What is the process? You'd be surprised how people do not know where to start. There's no real road map. Answers, yes. The answer is yes. Uh, let me say this from outside perspective. I'll say this. Uh, one day we were hanging out at one of our friends' house, and I, it's hard for them to explain it because they do this day in and day out. But uh, it was pretty cool for me to experience it. I literally walked in a, in a friend's apartment, and they were writing one song. And then we go to the kitchen to get some drinks. And I think someone was saying, what did you say earlier about don't bring sand to the beach? And then all of a sudden I watched their wheels turn and I got to experience them writing a song. And it was the coolest freaking experience I've ever had in my life. Mm. Uh, they literally wrote that song in what, 30 minutes? If that. Pretty close. Could and you? I might've got one word in there. Uh, You're not getting a third, dude. Yeah, he's not getting a third. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, right. he's like, I want to write his credit. Right. Anyways. <laughs> hey, Will, go get me a hat show, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, Will, Will what, okay, let me ask you this. Anyways. What would you say? That was a very cool experience to watch. What would you that? say incorporates a good song? Like, if you're listening to a song, what causes you to go, wow, I love that song, or that's a good song? That I want to listen to it again before it's even done playing. Huh. Like, I just yeah. want to put it on repeat. I know that sounds like the dumbest no, that's true. thing, but I mean, that's just if you 
strip it all down to the core. Like I just straight up want to listen to it. And I always say this, like in writing, if you go to a concert, you want to get hammered, you want to drink. And then when you drink, you need to go to the bathroom. And if you go to any show, somebody is needing to go to the bathroom or get another drink at any point in time. And they're waiting for that one song to start playing. They can run, run off for five to 10 minutes. They don't mind missing. So I I don't want to write that song. I want to write the song that they come running back. They've been waiting in line for 10 minutes without a drink and they need to come running back. I love that that visual. That's cool. That's a great way to put it. it. Is there a, is there a chord? Is there a melody line? So yeah, to go on the idea of like how it starts, you know, like me, Heath and Will sit in a room and, you know, what we every conversation we're in every single day is th- that's the worst part, I think, is that we can't turn it off ever. Yeah. Free you know, game. you could be talking to your yeah. mom and she's telling you this story about your aunt and your grandma like doing this now. or whatever. And like she says one thing and it's like, oh, yeah. I got to write that down. Then you, you miss the rest of the conversation because your mind's just thinking about how you'd write that song. Nice. And but that's usually where it's where it kind of starts is like these ideas that we put in our phone or these these concepts we have that that we come up with you know, out of thin air, out of real life experiences, whatever it is. How do you tell somebody when that's not a good idea? If you're writing together and he says something. You just move on to the next title. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, so I had this other title I was messing with. So I actually had this other idea. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you do just move on. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I got to run too. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Really? Is that what I've never experienced that? I get to speak. (laughs) I get to speak on outside of the thing because of Will too. And also watching you guys write for the movie was a whole different experience. There were just fire in that room but tell them what movie that is though. just jake which is out on up tv and up faith and family so, they, did a premiere so these here guys Nashville. wrote the whole soundtrack. all the original music these guys wrote um they were we were writing the hero song and we sat at soho all three of these guys uh and i said hey guys i just i want the story to write the movie and the movie to write the story and as we were going about the story heath goes wait 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 so he's writing his side of the song but he can't finish it because it's only his side of the story. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, yes. And he goes, okay, so he's just missing her side of the story. I'm like, yes. And we call on a duet, all this stuff. So when we get, then we go to the studio and I watched Heath and Eric go into one room, start jamming out and Heath being the lyricist, like starting to punch some words out. Eric's just jamming. And then I watched Will and Rob in another room. And I saw when I went back to Will, he had this look in his eye because he gets this crazy look in his eye. And I knew something was like going right now. and it was fire. Yeah. <laughs> you come and then I walk back Will? in the other room and I don't want to interrupt them because they're all like, they're, like they're, they're, they're on a roll. <laughs> 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 oh my God. But then I look at these two and they're on a roll and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I feel I'm like, like guys, hit is about to be can written. you come in real quick? And they're like, man, but well, hold on. We're doing this. I'm like, I know, but th- there's something in this room. So they walk in the room and they're like, okay, well, they're just doing some inter- instrumental. And I'm thinking maybe I made a mistake. I look around, I watch their faces, and then all of a sudden you see everybody find their lane. Chemistry. It was so it was so powerful. Yeah. And I'm watching on the outside and going, this is amazing. He kept jamming out, go, well, let's hear that again. And then Heath just started going, yeah, but guess what, guys? What we're doing out there ended up being the chorus right in here ended up being the you know the bridge to build yeah. it all together and I'm like man it just became fire and I, it was the first time I actually watched you guys in a different you know setting we, yeah. we yeah. got a couple of more minutes left uh let's let's talk about Rowdyville a little bit let's sure. what can people expect uh why why Rowdyville uh, what is the need uh man it's just gonna show the the behind the scenes of what we do every day I think know? I think it, it goes back to what we've said already during this is Rowdyville isn't about us. It's good. It's, yeah. it's about Thanks. the consumer. It's about the fan. It's about the person that's interested in understanding the, the really the foundation of what Nashville is, mm-hmm. which is, it's really not just writing songs and it's not just country music and it's, it's not just partying and bachelorette parties. It's, there's something about this town to me that um, I haven't experienced in any other city that I've either lived in or visited or worked in that um, all of these things are, are strangely connected and everyone's yeah. feeding off the energy of all of it. Yeah. And um, to me, I think that's what Rowdyville is. I think it's, it's really just about like our responsibility in that community of what nashville is 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 known for yeah you, i mean you want to drop the mic because the subtitle under rowdyville is what's beneath the noise hmm. 
I like that actually. Yeah. I cool. want to ask you real Nailed quick, it, bro. You're, um, you're coming from LA into their world, into this this scene. Uh, real yeah, quick, we've noticed. Yeah, we got to bring them down. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in down LA a four and a half years. <laughs> I see know, a lot. Of, we we I see a lot of you, Brandon. You're all in trouble. Of you. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. <laughs> That's how you know we're friends. I was yeah. gonna say, what has been your lesson in working with these guys? Like, what have you had to learn? Well, well, I'm interested humble. to hear this. <laughs> no, actually, it is. It is short hum- version. It's humbling because we're all artists. I think I rock out what I do, or I'm trying to be better and better every day. What I've noticed with these guys is there's a lot of noise in this town. Mm. I'm used to it in the town that I come from. And in entertainment, it's about being beneath that and knowing how to rise up and build something and being creative constantly. And in them, I see this fire and this juice to constantly go no matter what hits them, how hard it gets. They love what they do. And I think passion is the most important thing that we carry. It drives our purpose and our destiny. And I see it in them, and that's what empowered me to go, man, I got to do something about this. I don't have all the answers. Let's step out in faith together. Let's do it. Working with them was a joy, and I, I want to continue to work with them. They write songs for my other movies and shows. But watching them in action showed me the truth behind all of this sometimes. Yeah. You know, you just said something. Passion is the most important thing we carry. All right, we can't have a singer here and not sing. So <laughs> can we get a guitar and a... Good, uh, a, go. a music Will, you stand. Go. Will give me a final oh word. I know Can you don't I like to talk. Say something to to the people oh, while yeah. while they're setting up. Let's talk about success real quick. Why is why is it important to keep working hard until you get those hits out of you? You don't really have a choice. I mean. To me, I'm up, I'm talking about music, but it can apply to anything that you're passionate about. It's yeah. just you you breathe because of it. You know what I mean? So it really has nothing to do with success. You can gauge success in a bunch of different ways. For me, it's just like what I'd rather be doing. You know what I wow. mean? Wow. Wow. When you got I your, have to. When you got your first hit, you're you thought were you excited or were you like I will say this, you you get something like a milestone like in your head, you come to town and you're like, I want a number one song. You don't know if it'll ever happen. And someone's like, just put your head down, keep working. And you're like, Be sure. You know what I mean? But I don't know if you really think you'll get that. And then you do. And I think you're like walking either out of the number one party or even right after it goes number one. And then another song rings the bell at the top of the chart. And yours is number two now. Wow. And you realize maybe that wasn't all about what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And again, you're so many songs in after you've written that song that you're already thinking about the other irons you got in the fire. Yeah. You know? So yeah. to me, it's kind of like that's noise to me. You're, you're so as long as it. you're happy for real, like just in working. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Know. I just yeah. think that, that's what it is for me personally. But that's incredible. The fulfillment dude. that like I think everybody measures success differently. Right. Right. And some people, they they set one goal and they're obsessed with it and and they get it they reach it right and then for them they don't have anything else yeah and uh i don't necessarily know if i have like a a perfect example of that type of person but like will said i i don't measure success by like how many number ones i have Mm -hmm. and i definitely don't measure my success by um how many radio singles i get but i would measure it by how I feel, okay. and and I just had my first number one party, <clears throat> and while I was at the party, so just to speak to what Will was saying, like sometimes like you're walking out the door and you're kind of that moment's hitting you like whoa, I just I just celebrated number one. That's crazy. That's why I moved to town. That For means, me, yeah. I'm I'm at my number one party and I'm I'm sitting on a stool and everybody's giving speeches and they're giving me a hard time about. Uh, the song "Rockin' a Hard Place," and I'm just like the sad boy songwriter, and and we do call him uh, sad boy. Heath. And 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 you know, like it, it was like a vulnerable, emotional lyric, right? And uh, I think as creatives, we have to go there sometimes, especially when it's when when the moment like knocks on the door for us to get there and dig deep and do it. But <clears throat> in that moment of them calling me sad boy, I thought it would it was important for me to let the room know like being in touch with your emotions means you have to recognize when you're, when you're sad and you have to get through processing those feelings. But in that moment I was happy Happy. and I, it was the, it was the purest piece of happiness I've ever had in my entire life. And for me, 
It's not about having a number one song, but it is about that. And yeah. it's about being able to stop and appreciate that feeling. So. Yeah, I, I call that living in your now, recognizing your now. I, you'll never be in your future. You're never going to be in your past. You'll always be in your now. And if you can always recognize mm -hmm. your now, you got it. All right, yeah. Eric, you have the final here. What, what are you going to sing? Do you know? I'm just going to do the last chorus of something me and Heath wrote. Uh, is, this, is this coming out or is it already out? It's not out yet. Oh, y'all getting an exclusive. Let me say thanks. Yeah. Y'all be on the lookout for Rowdyville. Be on the lookout for everything. Anything you want to shout out that's coming up? <laughs> yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Any last words yes. you want to say? I got one. I love you all very, very yes. much. Love. All love. Thank you. God love bless. Love you too. Yeah. Thanks for having us, bro. Yeah. Thank you all. Great job. Thank you, Jay. Come on, Eric. So I'm giving up on trying to find someone. It loves me like you did. I'm giving up on trying to ease my mind. You're too hard to forget. I'm giving up on thinking all this drinking's gonna help me through. But there's nothing left to do. So I'm giving up on getting over you. Yeah. A little bit of that. Yeah. I'm getting over you. Giving up, giving up, getting over you. Giving up, giving up, getting over you. Yeah, yeah man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Love Thanks for having us, bro. Oh, thank you. Love you.